This morning, more counties are on the state's coronavirus watch list. Now 23 counties in our state flagged for an increase in transmission and hospitalizations. Right now, Sacramento, San Joaquin, Stanislaus, and Solano counties are still on the list. Although more counties are being added, Governor Newsom says he's staying hopeful. We were able to mitigate uh, the spread of this virus in substantial ways. We have the capacity to do that again. Here are the latest numbers in our state. We've had more than 271,000 total cases. Almost 5,800 people have been hospitalized with 1,700 now in the ICU. Now, these numbers don't include people who are suspected of having the virus. And who knows in the next two to three weeks what kind of a spike we might get from the 4th of July uh, holiday get togethers. Right now, your time 609. We have our question of the day. Should there be a national mask mandate? White House says no. The president's chief of staff says that the president sees this issue as a state to state matter. So what do you think? Should there be a national mask mandate? Vote on our app or at abc10.com slash vote. The conversation is ongoing on our ABC 10 Facebook page. Carol Cunningham says, yes, we need to stop the spread of the virus. Masks help. Kristen says, no, people should be able to breathe. People should be smart enough to just wash their hands and stay out of other people's personal business. There you have it. And there's our megaphone update right now. 53% of you say yes, there should be a national mask mandate. The vote is closed. Well, the state capitol, the latest place to shut down due to positive COVID-19 testing. Officials say the capitol will be closed for about a week for deep cleaning after five people who work in the assembly did test positive, including Assemblywoman Autumn Burke, who tweeted that she had mask to mask exposure last month and tested positive, even though she said she had been taking precautions. I do hear even someone with a mask on cough. I actually spray Lysol between me and the person, even when I'm outside. Right now, Burke is not showing any symptoms. The assembly speaker says that the assembly will stay in recess until further notice. And the Sacramento Bee reports a new limit of one person per assembly office allowed in each day.